Year Isaiah and Joby Dufresne have come a long way since their last appearance on 90 Day, The Last Resort. The Ukrainian woman moved to the United States in 2020 to marry her American view, Joby Dufresne. Yura settled with Jovi in New Orleans and gave up a lot for their marriage. Unfortunately, Jovi rarely reciprocated in the relationship. He treated Yara nicely but didn't understand her inner feelings. Jovi continued his long-distance job, which kept him away from home. He also continued to party, drink, and visit strip clubs, showing that he was immature for his age. Yura and Jovi welcomed their daughter, Myla, in late 2020. Although they became parents, it still didn't fix their relationship problems. A few years ago, the couple faced a huge problem when Yura got homesick and traveled to Europe. She met her mom and bamboozled Jovi by admitting that she wanted to stay there for a long time. The couple feuded for a while after that due to Yura's insistence on being near her family. However, they eventually decided to return to the United States for the sake of their marriage and their daughter. Juvi and Yara seemed happy in 2023. However, they surprised fans by joining the new therapy-oriented spin-off, 90 Day, The Last Resort, admitting they still have various marital issues to resolve. When Yara and Juvi joined the spin-off, they shared their grievances with the expert. Yara revealed that Juvi had been too adamant about her getting pregnant, and she confessed to taking birth control pills. This revelation created a big rift between the couple, leading to bigger issues. It pushed Juvi to spend the night drinking with Angela Dean, which made Yara furious. As the season progressed, Juvi and Yara resolved their issues by talking to therapists. They participated in couples' therapy exercises and learned a lot about each other. Unfortunately, things changed in the latter half of 90 Day. The Last Resort Juvi chose to visit a strip club with other male cast members and even contacted one of the strippers he knew. He didn't say anything to Yara, which became a big trust issue when Big Ed Brown exposed him to everyone. Thankfully, things worked out just fine in the final. The couple excited the show together. There were many reasons Yara took birth control pills without telling Jovi. However, the biggest one was her lack of interest in having another child. At the time, she was taking care of her three-year-old girl and was busy with her work life. She couldn't see herself becoming a mom to another newborn. Yura was also not happy with Juvi's long-distance job. She knew he'd be away for weeks, if not months, leaving her to do all the parenting work alone. The situation became dramatic when the 90-day fiancé alum learned that Juvi had purposely denied a nearby job. Recently, Juvi held a Q&A on Instagram, where he answered some of his fans. An Instagram user asked, when is she going to give in? and let you have a baby. Juvi responded, Ha ha, I don't stop trying. Hopefully soon. Another user asked, Maybe too. Juvi answered, Hard to navigate through all the others, highlighting how everyone has been asking him about the same thing. Juvi also answered another fan who asked him about his return to the network. The user wrote, When will we see you and Yara on TV again? We miss you guys. Juvi answered, you can catch us almost every Sunday on Pillow Talk. The reality star didn't reveal much about his future with the 90-day Fianke franchise. He kept it a secret, which may be due to contractual reasons. Juvi and Yara are always welcome additions to the spin-offs. The network could offer them their spin-off, as they did with David Toborowski and Annie Soan. In 2023, Juvi and Yara discussed their plans to move away from North Shore, Louisiana. Juvi even admitted that he would do everything it took to have a happy marriage with Yara, even if it meant relocating to another state. The same year, Yara and Juvi began searching for good places to move while exploring America. Their quest led them to Florida, where they chose Miami as their new home city.
They seem happy in the new city and love posting about it on Instagram. Miami is perfect for Jovi and Yara because it's a coastal city. It offers the two a variety of places to hang out, from beaches to downtown. Yara is originally from Kiev, Ukraine, which doesn't have a coast but has a big river in between it. It seems like she feels right at home in Miami, which has a similar vibe because of the water sides and bridges. Yara and Juvie's relationship has been fruitful despite all the ups and downs. The biggest symbol of their success is their daughter, Myla, who has begun looking like her dad lately. In April 2024, Juvie posted the latest picture of his adorable baby playing at the beach. He titled the post, Just Living Her Best Life. He hashtagged 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after, hinting that he and Yara may return to the show next year. Hopefully, the couple will continue thriving together and not have to meet the marriage counselors again on 90 Day, the last resort.